Green Team, welcome to another episode. Today we are going to a spot you've been to before. Yep, it's called The Gorge. I haven't been there, so disclaimer, we're going on Amber's recommendation. <laughs> so we're about, what, an hour out of Grafton, thereabouts, northern New South Wales. I'll put a little map up here to showcase it. So we've got about 30 odd k's of dirt um, once, you've, uh, once you come off the uh, of the tar, um, and we'll get to let you know how the road is. But so far, so good. First time we're taking the truck on uh, on a bit of dirt and a few minor corrugations, I guess, so far. So it's nothing to worry about so far. But um, yeah, hopefully it's, uh, it's days like this smooth sailing, and we can get there. And apparently, we're going to be movie stars. <laughs> we rang up this morning trying to get a spot, uh, and uh, they're actually filming. Home and away. Of all places. I thought they were in Summer Bay, but they're not. They're in the So crowd. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Alfie's uh signature. He's, uh, <laughs> Alfie. What's his name? Alf. Flame I'm gonna Christ. get his autograph. Anyway, we'll see if Alf Stewart's down here or not. But anyway, that's that's the excitement for us. Home and away. Uh, we'll see what they're up to and hopefully they uh, So random. So random, but hopefully it doesn't um, impact us too much because the caretaker uh, was sort of saying that we had to be careful not to get into the into the shoot and all that sort of thing. So And we bought a an inflatable kayak inflatable as well. Kayak. So um, yeah, it's um, pretty keen to see how that goes. It's a two seater, so yeah. I might be able to throw Freya in the back. Let's see how we go. Or in so, the front actually, it's probably safer. Yeah. Putting her in the front. So hopefully it's a good episode. I'm sure it will be a good episode, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, lots of the stuff. Leave a comment down below, uh, your favourite home and away star maybe, or maybe if you don't like home and away, let us know that too. But uh, enjoy, and we'll see you soon. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode, Dream Team. We are super excited to share this one with you. We tracked down an epic camp spot on the banks of the Clarence River. We have a mishap with our drone. You've got to see that and the absolute unbelievable scenery that this place to offer. A lot of chill time, a lot of amazing memories made together as a family. Hope you guys enjoy this episode as much as we love living it. Now, let's get to the campground. Well, holy <laughs> mate, <laughs> what a bloody view. No sign of Summer Bay, but mate, I reckon that just about beats it. Hey darling, what do you reckon mate? Was I right or was I wrong? You were right. We even got a few neighbours, a few cows. Hey, wowza. How bloody good is this? <gasps> anyway, better pack up. I'll pack this bugger up. Unpack it, I should say, and cook some lunch. I am starving. All right, we'll see you in a sec. Very excited to share this spot with you. We are camped at the Gorge, which is a private campground on the Clarence River in the Clarence Valley, about an hour or so out of Grafton. Check out that view. We are on a site that is known by the owners here as Mum and Dad site. Uh, this isn't the main part called the Gorge. Further up river, there is actually um, about 13 to 14 metre high gorge walls that that surround um, each side of the river and which is from which is known as the gorge now believe it or not they're actually shooting an episode of home and away here at the moment so we're unable to get up to that part of the river to really showcase you this that amazing part of the river and why they do call it the gorge but with a view like that it's still very very hard to beat Welcome to the Gorge on the Clarence River in the Clarence Valley, northern New South Wales. The cost when we were there was $35 per night, 
but we are led to believe that it may now be $40 per night. No facilities are provided except for drop toilets on some locations. We are on the site called Mum and Dad site, which is an epic site with an absolutely phenomenal view over the river. Now, $40 per night, some may say that is pretty expensive, but given the location and the total uniqueness of this campground, I can see why, and we were happy to pay it. But for now, we've arrived at camp, we've made ourselves at home, time to sit back, relax, take in the amazing scenery of the afternoon, have an early night, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Check that out behind me, mate. What a beautiful morning. Oh, bugger. Didn't get up, didn't quite get up in time to see the sunrise. Oh well. That was an epic night's sleep. I think I was asleep at like eight o'clock. Sometimes you need those, eh? It was about 6 30 this morning. So what's that? Oh, 10 hours. Oh, that's good. I could still sleep for another three or four. But I just peeked out the window and I saw that view behind me. So I've got to get up and have a coffee to that. Anyway, pretty wicked storm rolled in last night, which is a which is a bit of a surprise. Seems to be our way. Not far from here is one of our all-time favourite spots that we that we used to go to all the time, even when we were living in Brisbane. We used to drive down here this way to go camping. And I don't know, something about this area that uh, we seem to bring the storms with us. We don't mind that because we they're quite magical in their own right, but. Good morning. How's this for a view? <sighs> Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's a bit scratched up. Hang on. Good morning, Isn't that something to wake up to, huh? Isn't it ever? <laughs> oh well. I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and Sometimes it's great just to have a slow morning, sit and eat brekkie by the fire, and overlook this amazing view and take it all in. Nice and slow morning for us, but sometimes they're some of the best mornings, watching the world pass you by. And then it was time to test out the new kayak that Amber so desperately had been wanting for a long while now. We stopped in, as we mentioned, earlier in the episode at BCF to test out the kayak. Here's Amber soaking in the amazing surroundings of the Clarence River at the gorge. It was all going so, so well, almost too well. Well, what a cluster. Amber's going on a beautiful... <laughs> Come on, Freya, let's go see mum. Amber's on her way. Amber was on a beautiful, picturesque, bloody <laughs> paddle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put footage in it or not because I had the drone up and then the drone just went first win. Yep. Anyway, three years of flying that and I knew it had been doing some dodgy leading up to that point and you know going haywire and all that sort of thing and I knew a time was going to come where at some point it was going to cark it but today's the day. She's in the drink, and then Amber's in a kayak. God love her. She's such a trooper. Jumps off <laughs> the kayak. That water must be freezing. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I don't know if she's got it or not. I don't know whether she managed to save it. I just don't know. But, uh, yeah. Mission Control, Houston. DJI Mavic Pro 2 has a problem, that's for sure. <laughs> Here she is, drone saver. <laughs> How's that, mate? Yeah, well, you're lucky I found it. <laughs> Who knows it's gonna work? 
because the whole area around me was deep. I couldn't see the bottom. I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to find this drone. And then, oh, out of nowhere, this like island, like a shallow rock just under the water, just under the surface was there. And then I'm like looking, looking, trying not to, you know, make too many ripples. And then here's the drone, like half a meter, kind of just with its lights still on just like submerged <laughs> and when I picked it up out of the water it was still moving oh, um, so might I be hope for it yet I don't know. and then you what, just took the battery out it was submerged for a while and then you just took the battery out I took the battery out and um, I just paddled to the Sun because I was in shade and yeah now it's just sitting in the Sun what happened and it went down I don't know I didn't Did you see oh you didn't see it so you just what how do you know it went in the water well I just saw it in the corner of my eye and I knew straight away it was the drone right. and I was like oh. oh shit and I was you know I was still a fair way away from it so it took me oh it took me like maybe a couple of minutes to paddle to it that's what I'm worried about because of how long it was submerged Freya Freya that's silly don't put your milk on yourself anyway but, you know you might be able to get you might be able to get um, files off it. I don't know. You, it probably won't work. I've got the SIM card out there in the sun over there drying, so be careful of that. Oh, man, we've got to get another drone if that one doesn't come through. But, gee whiz, it's done us well. It really has. Three years or something you like that. You were so lucky that I was actually, like, paddling near it. Beside me dirty scrundies. <laughs> but, yeah, there's still water coming out of it. Oh, I couldn't recommend. They don't make this drone either anymore. Um... This thing is so stable. Like I put it up in freaking yeah, hectic well. conditions and it's, it's strong. The new ones don't seem balance. to be as... I think it might be a good idea because that's how, that's how I had it on the back of the truck. Yeah. Maybe it's a good idea now to kind of lean it maybe a bit. Oh yeah. Do you think? Or... I have no idea. Never, never crashed one before. Anyway, that's all right. Here's what it is. We'll see if we get it working. Who knows? We'll try it, we'll try it this afternoon. I think maybe. Well, hence, but more importantly, how was the bloody. Uh... Well, the reason I was gone for so long. Maybe like that. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. 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 Um, right down the end and I didn't realize how far it was but I paddled all the way down there and oh my god it's such a nice tree I know it's just a tree but the roots were like just covering the whole bank and I think it was a big fig tree or something like huge one of the biggest fig trees I've ever seen it was right on the water and just amazing well I'll be bloody damned Hear that noise? That's the drone, and we've got a big storm coming in behind us. But the drone bloody works. And here, look, I'll even record so you know it's actually happening. But the drone actually bloody goes. Who would have thought? Submerged in water. I don't think the sensors work anymore anymore. The sensors don't work, so you you got to avoid your trees and that yourself. But everything else seems to be bloody working. Unbelievable. Must be my day today. <laughs> well, that is our adventure done at the gorge. These are the first few shots after we worked out our drone was still working. We hope you've enjoyed this episode and remember that the gorge also offers amazing gorges and waterfalls to explore it's just that we couldn't access them this time around so i hope you guys loved it don't forget to like share subscribe drop a comment and follow our socials the real australian dream and we'll see you next time you beauty